Hi, this is Dave Clayton, Research Director at ARC Advisory Group. Today I'll be discussing the Operational Historian Industrial Data Platform Market with Janice Abel, Principal Consultant at ARC and primary author of ARC's recently published Operational Historian Report. Today we'll be discussing how users can use modern historian platforms for real-time mission-critical production data across their enterprise. Thanks for joining me today, Janice. For the audience's benefit, could you tell us a bit about your background covering the operational historian or industrial data platform market for ARC, and a little bit about ARC for those not familiar with us? For joining us today. My name is Janice Abel, and I've been an analyst for ARC for over a decade. Prior to this, I spent over 25 years in the process in hybrid industries. At ARC, I'm the lead analyst for MES in operational historians or industrial data platforms. I've also been focused on other related markets like operative training simulators, batch management, manufacturing intelligence, analytics, and the digital transformation, as well as other related technology markets. I personally have been involved with industrial data for most of my career. I also have an MBA and a master's degree in chemical engineering. At ARC, we're always uncovering new and interesting things, even for technologies like historians that have been around for a while. The modern operational historian or industrial data platform market is evolving with the technology and enabling the data-driven digital transformation in industry. And there's a number of reasons for this. ARC Advisory Group has been focused on manufacturing and operations since 1986. We have been collecting data and researching industrial markets for almost three decades, and we have the data and trends to support this. Today's discussion is focused on our recent market research on the modern operational historian, which can also be referred to as the industrial data platform. The research is based on information from a re recent report that we completed. Thanks, Janice. I think it will be beneficial if we go into a little more detail about how ARC defines the operational historian or data platform market. ARC defines operational historians or industrial data platforms as the applications in data storage and data management software for operations in shop floor data storage, collection, management, and analysis. The operational historian securely stores industrial timestamp process data for actionable process decision making for better process decisions, whether for quality, production, cost, or safety issues. The historian stores large volumes of real time data reliably and securely. The software enables the ability to store multiple data samples for manufacturing operations in a way that enables high fidelity data. The historian can model the assets, like information from the pumps or senses, machines, robotics, and so on, that are commonly used to run a process and integrate and contextualize the data. The historian includes things like the data infrastructure, the data collection, the integration, the trending of the data, the reporting of the data, the analytics, the visualization or the dashboards or digital displays that we are seeing today that operators are using for intelligence at a glance. It also supports algorithms, the ability to compress the data, and other data management tools that help make the data accessible, searchable, available, and fast enough for most processes. The operational historian is mostly used to store real-time structured data from the automation systems and other equipment and data sources, unless it's combined with structured data, which is frequently done today, for example, like financial data or the data from cameras and weather data, where users use the information from the operational historian with this data to help optimize their processes, reduce costs, and produce efficiently. And ARC's research does take these into account, and they take into account the newer technologies that are also influencing the operational historian space. Thanks, Janice. So from your research, what are some of the key manufacturing data platform challenges that end users are facing today? I always say it's all about the data. 
There are lots of challenges when it comes to data and operational historians, and the digital transformation is all about the data. Companies need fast, accessible, and searchable data so they can make insights quickly. It's about getting data quickly, but it's also about making sure it's good or valid data, connecting to multiple data sources, and it's about the new platforms and architecture that are more secure than ever. And it's about aligning with the business. And these are all important issues when you're looking at operational historians. Newer technologies like data platforms with their data management tools and analytics are enablers and they can make it easier to search and find the patterns and correlations in the data so that manufacturers can obtain insights quickly. It's no longer acceptable to be changed to mountains of data without a clear, simple, and effective way to derive value from it. And you shouldn't have to be a data scientist or a PhD to do it. The technology should be easy to use and help you find the information you need. Whether you are the subject matter expert, the engineer, the operator, or even the manager, but even when you find the correlations in the data, you still need these folks to understand the correlations. The technology tool should also be easy to use, easy to configure, easy to update, and secure, and should enable getting the right data quickly to the right person at the right time, making sure it's good data, and all of these issues and many others are discussed further in the report that we just completed. There seems to be a lot of confusion regarding what type of operations data needs to be stored and where. What other challenges are users dealing with? Do you have any suggestions for users wrestling with any of these questions? Well, David, there are a lot of challenges, like where do you store all the data? On-premise, the cloud, the edge, in the data lake, all of which we are seeing. And what should your data architecture infrastructure look like? And the answer is it really depends on the data, the applications, the process, and the business. And it's really not a simple answer because there's a lot of issues. For example, we still see legacy systems being used for process data. And there's a lot of considerations for this because to determine the best data platform, you need to look at your current architecture and technology. And you also need to consider the company's future data and growth plans. Things like what is the best policy for multi-cloud platforms and where should the data be stored? Should we store current data on-premise, historical data, recipe data, or planning and scheduling data in the cloud or edge or data lakes? Or should we store some, some in the cloud or some in the edge or some on-premise? What works best for our organization? And how will the platform align with the business requirements? We also know that around 17% of the operational data by revenue is in the cloud. And there are some situations where the data works better on premise. All of these topics are covered more in our research. So now that we know some of the challenges that end users are facing, what are some of the key benefits that they're finding from operational historian or industrial data platform investments? There are a number of benefits or reasons that customers are investing in modern operational historians, but I'll focus on some of the benefits that are shown on the slide. Today, the benefits align with the industrial digital transformation. And as we become smarter and more connected, it's really all about the data. Today's modern historian enables the ability to make faster, actionable database decisions. And the market is growing largely due to the digital transformation, the Internet of Things and Industry 4.0, and all that that entails, including the rapid growth in data. While it is important that users consider new platforms that accommodate real-time structured data, these newer platforms should be capable of integrating newer unstructured data like videos, cameras, and some of the newer Internet of Thing devices that we are seeing being used in manufacturing today. Having the data is important, but what you do with the data is even more important, and that will make a huge difference. How you build your data structure to make the process easier and the technology used that makes the data more collaborative can result in enormous value for users. So gaining insightful insights to the data to understand abnormalities and comparing those trends across the enterprise can give better results, it can reduce costs, and it can give you a better understanding of your process. The data management tools can improve data collaboration, 
especially the ability to visualize or display the data with newer digital dashboard that takes advantage of human factor engineering for improved plant visibility and user experience. A modern operational historian should be extensible and scalable so that more data can be stored and analyzed quickly to improve product quality and production efficiencies. Accurate decision making does not always lead to better decisions, but shortening the time it takes to get the information to detect abnormal events and to be able to make a better decision and act upon that decision can have enormous value. And I'd be remiss if I did not mention cybersecurity because cybersecurity has never been more important to organizations than today. And many companies are modernizing the data platforms because the security is built into the newer platforms and they offer better security than they could ever achieve with their legacy systems. I know this sounds like a cliche, but I'm going to say it anyway because it's true. Having the right data at the right time so the decision maker can make the right decision can save millions because the users can make these timely decisions correctly. These benefits and the effect the digital transformation is having on this market are covered more in depth in our research, all of which enables users to be able to compete better and ultimately stay in business. And because we are seeing a lot of enhancements in the software tools for operational historians, and because the software is easier to use, modern operational historian technology is enabling users to be able to use their data to help optimize their processes in ways that they never could before. Do you have any advice to help users get the most from their operational historian or industrial data platform investments? While there are a number of key strategies for operational historians from the research we did, including embracing the digital transformation, I selected just a few of those strategies from the recent ARC report. To get started, users should invest in newer, modern operational historian solutions or industrial data platforms with newer technologies, giving careful consideration to supplier selection. They should invest in newer complementary technologies that are either integrated to or embedded in these newer operational historian platforms with data management tools. They should develop a strategy for operational applications and data that aligns well with your organization for on-premise, cloud, edge, or data lakes, or whatever makes sense and use applications that enable enterprise-wide interoperability and connectivity that empower collaboration and decision-making and make it easy to obtain actionable data-driven decisions that can scale across the enterprise and give value to your organization. A lot of people we spoke to are starting with a pilot and they're learning from that experience and they're finding that the benefits increase exponentially if they're able to extend the applications across the plants and integrate the silos and other equipment and systems. As they become more integrated, the goal should be to connect the enterprise and compare intelligence across because you will maximize your benefits and optimize operations. Modern operational historians can help manage the data, improve processes and drive innovation and process improvements. The software tools that enable faster and easier data-based insights will enable users to use them and lead to better decisions that increase productivity immensely. And finally, how can ERC help users that are think about making investments in the operational historian platform market? So how can we help you. ARC can help you get started on the digital transformation for your operational historian or help you in, in the journey in terms of the technology, people, and processes. ARC has a lot of information that can help you and the digital transformation is all about the data. ARC has a lot of expertise in an in-depth understanding of the market and suppliers, where it's heading and supplier capabilities. We have lots of different types of data depending upon your needs, like growth rates and trends. We include both process and discrete industries 
in this study. This research includes the oil and gas industry, the chemicals, pharmaceutical and biotech industries, food and beverage industries, electric power generation, mining and metals industries, pulp and paper, automotive, aeronautics, electronics, household goods, semiconductors, and a few other industries that are differentiated by leading suppliers and regions. We also have charts by opportunity, by deployment, various attributes like types of information, supplier service revenues, deployment types, customer tiers, sales channels, and more. And we can use ARC's data to help you understand the market, technology, and suppliers in your industry. And we can include the data with our market research with our MIRA tool, which allows you to analyze the data even further. We also have a supplier selection report and criteria charts and a tool that reviews functionality and can help make the user supplier selection and assessment process faster and smoother. And the tool is designed as a collaborative tool to improve the entire technology selection process. And that's, I'd like to thank everybody for listening today, and I'd like to turn it over to David now. Thanks for sharing your insights with us today, Janice. This concludes our presentation on the Operational Historian's Data Platform Market. Audience members who would like more information or have any questions about our research should get in touch with the client manager here at ARC or contact the author directly at jabel at arcweb.com or myself, dclayton, at arcweb.com. Thanks for your attention and have a great day.